Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on how to hard reset your Samsung S21 5G mobile phone. It's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. If your phone is not powered off, it first needs to be powered off in order for the hard reset to happen. So I'm going to press the power button on the side of this S21 and then I'll press power off on the display and power off again. Now once the S21 5G is completely powered off, we can go ahead and focus our attention on the buttons on the right hand side. And we want to go ahead and press down on the volume up rocker and press the power button simultaneously at the same time. Then you can release them once you get the Samson logo on the screen here and then it'll go ahead and give you the Android recovery screen. If you don't get the Android recovery screen and it boots right back up into your normal lock screen then repeat this procedure and you will be able to get the Android recovery screen. Okay, the next step is to use the volume rocker button, the up and down button on the right hand side of the S21 5G, and that will allow you to scroll up and down the menu here on the Android recovery screen. And we want to go ahead and stop right at the wipe data slash factory reset. And once you're there, we can use the power button to select that item. And let me go ahead and press that. And the next screen will be wipe all user data. This cannot be undone. And you can either cancel or select factory data reset with the rocker button. And I'm going to go ahead and press the power button because we do want to go ahead and reset. And down on the bottom it says reboot recovery causes blank 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 and wiping data formatting data so forth. So it has done it and it is completed and it's done that quickly. And at this point we just simply want to hit the or press the power button to reboot system now. And then you'll get the Samsung Galaxy logo on the screen. And that can stay on the screen for up to about a minute. And then it'll move on and say hello. And it'll say Verizon in my case because this is a uh, Verizon phone. And yours might say AT&T or T-Mobile or might not even say anything. And just give you some dots. And this can definitely stay on your screen for up to about a minute as well. So it's kind of slow. Um, you might think it's not doing anything, but it is processing and is reloading. And once it's completed, you'll go ahead and get the starting Android logo on the screen with a uh, progress bar flashing or moving across. And then you'll get initialization and a bunch of dots uh, going around in a kind of a squarish circle. Please wait while we prepare your phone. And this can also stay on your phone up to about a minute as well. So be patient and hang in there. And once this is completed, you'll get a white screen which says welcome. And it will say on the bottom, select your language and the default is English and you'll get the white and blue button that says start and an emergency call. Now to move forward you press the start button to set up your phone just as if it was taken out of the box brand new for the first time again. We have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like. And press that notification button to see more videos like this one.